Innovator Award. This is a big deal. What does it mean to you and your company? Uh, first off, we're really humbled and honored to, to be a recipient of the award. We're a long-standing global company, uh, but locally we're a bit of a startup. So I think it's really a testament to the hard work that, uh, that we put in locally uh, and the support that's been provided by our Japanese and Swiss uh, stakeholders. It just really underscores, I think, uh, the commitment by the people uh, that, um, that work for Hitachi Zosen and Nova. Uh, and the support of our leadership. And um, you know, we're really committed to, uh, to growing here in, in Knoxville and in East Tennessee. And uh, we're, we're excited about the opportunity to be part of the community uh, for the next, next years and decades to come. For people who aren't familiar with your business, explain what you do. Yeah, so we take waste uh, out of uh, municipalities from breweries, distilleries, um, curbside green waste, whatever. Uh, and we convert that into renewable energy um, through a process uh, utilizing microbes. And those microbes create a biogas, and so that biogas is ultimately cleaned uh, and then converted into a renewable natural gas that can be put into pipelines used for transportation fuel uh, or converted into renewable electricity that uh, can power you know, cars or whatever you want. Why Knoxville? Why the Knoxville area? Uh, you know, Knoxville has got a great background from an energy standpoint with uh, folks like TVA, ORNL, the university. Um, there's a really great uh, history here uh, when it comes to energy and innovation, and we really wanted to leverage that. Um, and so that's why, we, that's why we ultimately chose Knoxville. What is next for your company here? So next uh, for our company here, uh, we've got a lot of growth ahead of us. Uh, we're trying to expand into uh, the distillery space, the brewery space, um, and uh, owning and operating a lot more plants here in the United States. We have plants mainly on the West Coast, so we'll, we'll expand into the Midwest and ultimately the East Coast. But uh, we're really looking at expansion and opportunities to partner with communities and partner with um, you know, really, uh, you know, companies that are generating waste that uh, can ultimately be utilized for sustainable resources. In innovation, there's a lot of risk. How do you manage that as a business leader? And what do you say to other people who are facing risk in their business? Yeah, you know, so we manage risk through really leveraging uh, our, our, uh, our background as a, as a long-standing company. Our, our roots are, are really back to 1881 in Osaka, Japan. So we really leverage and build on our, uh, our experiences from the past. Um, and, and we try to go in with a, um, a broad perspective, right? And uh, don't try to kid ourselves on the, on the risk associated with innovation. And, and really try to understand what those risks are and, and put in mitigation measure, measures to, uh, to address them. When you look at business in this uh, culture and in this climate, in this community, mm -hmm. what comes to mind? This community uh, you know, really has been at the forefront of innovation, whether it's uh, in, in the stuff that we did in the 1940s and 50s in ORNL to what we're doing in material sciences today. I think that there's there's inherent risk, obviously, associated with innovation, but it also leads to a lot of growth and expansion. And I think that we have the ability to uh, to really take that innovative spirit that we have here in East Tennessee and, uh, and leverage it to, to something that uh, where we can create really cool, uh, exciting new um, technologies, such as, you know, that are associated with renewable energy or renewable materials or whatever. Right. Appreciate it. Thanks. Congrats. Good. Thanks.